Thursday, January 5th, 2023. And I'm on a driverless train. Well, there's a driver sitting here. But his controls are all closed. He's just sitting there. They're really making the public transit to the point where you don't need a vehicle. You don't need a car. I'm on my way to Pingshan Railway Station where I heard that they've recently opened a Sky Shuttle built by BYD. But Pingshan Railway Station's a long way from downtown. And you can take the subway there now, which you couldn't do until a week ago. Here's the Line 16 leaving. So here's the brand new Pingshan Station. Hey, there's the Sky Shuttle, also driverless. So, this is the station for Line 16, subway station in the middle. There's a high-speed railway station across the road and a Sky Shuttle on the other side. So it's the same payment method as the bus in Shenzhen. Or oh, this is Shenzhen, but this thing is silent. Okay, I see it coming now. Totally electric, obviously. Here it comes. It's cool that it has seats right up at the front. The driverless train line 16 is still, it's still uh, blocking people off from sitting up there. But let's check this out. This is coming up into Pingshan. District of Shenzhen. I don't know, so if you have any idea how this thing operates, maybe you can leave a comment in the comment section. automated there's a driver here but he's not doing anything the controls aren't even accessible to him right now coming up on the first of 11 stations or the second I guess of 11 stations See they're relatively small stations. scary actually that you can look over the edge here and it's just straight down like there's nothing here if they open that door you could definitely fall out so this is the future city station in Pingshan so that might just mean that actually it's not built up yet in the future city 
quite possible. Right now I'm here. Oh, I can switch to line 16 at one, just one station. So maybe I'll do that. I'll ride the brand new line 14 to the brand new line 16 after having ridden the brand new Sky Shuttle here in Pingshan. Gigantic station. So I'm going to head back to Pingshan Way, which I believe is that's yeah, in the right direction also. And I'll switch over to the brand new Line 16 in this brand new subway station. <laughs> Just to give you an idea here, the Pingshan Railway Station from where I live it used to be oh, at least a 30 minute drive on a Sunday morning when there's no traffic, but often could be 45 minutes and maybe even an hour depending on the construction that's going on. Now it takes about 10 minutes to get there on this subway. Of course, this time, of course, this time I'm riding on line 14 Brand new line 14 to get to line 16. Here comes line 14 now. Another driverless train. Very colorful. Colorful advertising in this train. Well, this is one of the ones with the um, you can charge your phone on this train. Line 14. Got the phone chargers. Not many. But they do have a few. Yeah, they got it blocked off at the front there. Here's one of these phone chargers. You what, two or three per car. Two or three phone charges per car. You can see some very colorful advertising in here. Figure out how to get to line 16 in this brand new subway station here. Line 16. So the Sky Shuttle ride was 2.8 RMB. Keep in mind that there's seven, I think 7.2 or something RMB per US dollar right now. So 2.8 to ride the Sky Shuttle. It was two RMB to ride this, the subway to get there, the brand new subway line. And now I've switched from line 14 to line 16 to head back. And I expect this will be three RMB by the time this ride's done. So for a grand total of maybe one US dollar. So we got a wheelchair area here on the train. Apparently they got some kind of a belt in here for wheelchair people, okay? So they can strap in, don't roll around. Riding a lot of brand new equipment today and spend about a US dollar to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna have to cut it off here because of the battery situation on my phone. Thanks for watching, see you next time.